be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What's the deal, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Thursday. I hope you all are doing well. If this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. Pull up a seat. I hope you enjoy the content. And before we get into this food, I want to ask that you like, comment, share, subscribe, and go ahead and tap that bell while you're at it so you're notified anytime I drop a brand new video, go live or schedule a premiere. All right, y'all. So we got some veggies today. I need a little bit of a reset because I've been doing a little bit too much. So all I have here is just a quick stir fry. We got some cabbage, some onion, some bell pepper, and I got some marinated portobello mushrooms. All right. And there is a quick, very quick cook with me at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and eat up. What's up, y'all? I miss y'all. How y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Go with the cabbage. Mm. Let's go with a mushroom. Well, more cabbage. Yo, I love cabbage. I think cabbage is one of my favorite vegetables. Mm. Yes. I love it. I always put sriracha on a lot of stuff. But I wanted a couple of bites without it. It's definitely good. Let me tell you one of the best parts about this meal is that it features... It features my seasoning. It features the jalapeno garlic pepper. I don't know if y'all can see that jalapeno garlic pepper, y'all. Today is the official launch of my company, Good As Can Be, for my low-sodium seasonings. Jalapeno garlic pepper. This meal does have this in it. But I also have Cajun lemon pepper. That's not in this food, but I also have Cajun lemon pepper, y'all. So today is the day. I have been taking pre-orders, and y'all showed out. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Y'all done showed me a lot of love. But for anybody that has not got your seasoning, please click the link below and go ahead and get you some. You know what I'm saying? So for those that actually, if you if you order by like 3, 3.30 Pacific Standard Time, I will process your order today. All right. So, and get it out to you so you can, you know what I'm saying? Make it one of your staple seasonings at your house. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Um, so the last couple days I've been doing too much in terms of food, been eating fast food, been eating bad. Shout out to mom. Mom has been helping me process all of these orders that have been coming in, you know, showing me the ropes because she had her own business. You know what I'm saying? So thank you, mom. I appreciate your help, your support. Shout out to my dad who's been very supportive as well. It's a lot of work. It really is, but I enjoyed every single moment of it, and I thank every single one of y'all that has supported me. So y'all make sure that um y'all tag me. Send me a message or something. When y'all start cooking, let me know how you use the seasoning. Mmm. This is exactly what I needed. Some vegetables. Mm, mm, mm. I just want to say real quick. Best part about the seasonings to me is that they're low sodium. You know, so you can be very generous with them, okay? So this one has 70 milligrams of salt. This one has 120 milligrams of salt, the Cajun lemon pepper. And I think the best thing, like I said, is that it's low sodium. Um, and based on the research that I've done, anything under 140 milligrams is low sodium. So I'm excited about that. I use these like I would 
pepper or like onion powder or garlic powder. So that means I mix I mix these up with other stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I use salt blends or a little bit of sea salt or all-purpose seasoning or whatever. I love, love, love using this one in, uh, like you use it in butter sauces, uh, use it with sour cream, um, use it, well, whatever, use it in salsa. I love using this for that. So I'm just saying, so just get in the kitchen and just go wild with it. Try all kinds of stuff and see how you like it. See what you like it. See what it pairs best with for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do a quick story time, y'all. Me and mom was talking about something the other day when we were packaging orders. It would jog my memory about something that we experienced together. Okay. So, a quick story time. This is that one time me and mom used to work together. We have worked together only one time. And I'm surprised I hadn't thought about this, but like I said, we was doing orders and processing stuff and we got to thinking about, it was just reminiscing. So anyway, I'm gonna say I was about 20 at the time. I was about 20. Um, mom has a banking background. Um, she had just been let go from her employer, you know, so she was always looking for work or whatever. And one of her banking, her banking friends, I gave her the heads up about this job, right? And the only catch to this job was that <clears throat> she did have to commute a little bit. It was in a different county, um, and that it was temporary, you know? So she was like, you know, come in. You know, I can give them a heads up about you. Um, and what you'll want to do is just look for permanent positions, you know what I'm saying, while you're in your temporary role. So, you know, mom was like, all right, you know what? I'm trying to be open. I'm, I'm with that. I could do that. And even though it was a commute, it wasn't a horrible commute, if that makes sense. You know, sometimes some commutes are, are worse than others. You know what I mean? So, anyway, mom goes in, she interviews, everything goes well. She basically, like, gets hired on the spot damn near, right? Well, she basically gets hired on the spot. And I'm like, hey, do you have anybody in mind for these other positions? You know, we got some other temporary roles to be trying to fill. So, mom tells HR, I have a daughter. You know, she's a college student. She doesn't go to school far from here. You know, she can do all of these things. She has experience, blah, 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 blah. So, HR is like, okay, you know. You know, I'd love to give me her information. I'll reach out to her. We get her in for an interview. You know, only thing is about your daughter. If she gets this job, like it's against HR policy or company policy. Like you can't be, you know, related to people at the company in the same department and stuff. And so my mom was like, okay, you know, whatever. We can work it out. So mom, you know, lets me know that they're going to give me a call and they do. I go in for the interview. I basically get hired on the spot too. They tell me the same thing. You know, obviously we know Denise is your mom, but you know, due to company policy, y'all gotta act like y'all know each other or that y'all aren't related. So I'm like, all right, cool. That sounds easy enough for me. I could do that, you know, pretend like I don't know my mom for eight hours a day. How, how hard could that be, right? So, Mom started work, um, I probably started like a month after she did, right? So, we did not drive in separate cars. We rode in the same car together. And it's so funny, y'all, where we would try to park. We would try to park way, way, way in the cut, far from each other, right? I mean, we would park far away. So people wouldn't see us together in the car. And then we would get out at separate times. So mom would get out first. Then I would get out like 15 minutes, 20 minutes later. 
So we would always get there early to make sure we had time to do our little whatever. So our little song and dance. So she would go, I would go. And we were in the same department, same floor, same everything, right? And it's not easy, like, not calling your mom mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I've been doing my whole life. And not to mention, we got the same last name, y'all. We got the same last name. We, I mean, I feel like we resemble each other. We may not look just alike, but we do resemble each other. So not only are we trying to like not see, like call each other by name, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying not to see her. So I'm gonna be like, hey mom or mom, can you help me with this or whatever? I'm trying to like, you know, not really run into her. We're also trying not to be around each other. So people don't look at us long enough to see if we look alike. Does that make sense? Like, and I don't even know if anybody really even care, but the fact that HR made it such a big deal about us, like, being related, we just kept on trying to, like, make sure that we was, like, within company policy and whatever. Didn't want anybody, you know, asking about us or whatever, right? So, I would see my mom coming towards me. I would duck off into the supply room. I see my, my mom see me walking towards her. She would duck off into the bathroom. Like, y'all, we literally was just playing, like, we was just literally ducking each other all day, pretty much. And then eventually we would cross paths, you know what I'm saying? Um... When we would, it would be like these little conference rooms. We would see each other and like check in. How was your day? What you doing? What they got you working on? What time are you going to lunch? Where are you eating for lunch? And that, that was interesting too. Speaking of lunch. We would talk about where we was going to eat. Where we were going to eat. And if, if, if I was driving or if mom was driving for the day or whatever... Cause we would like take turns because we had to commute right so but we would always you know carpool together and if we went somewhere to eat there where we had to drive if i was driving what i would do is we had this little designated area so i would drive around like r around the corner or whatever and mom would come and meet me there you know so to everybody else it looked like she was walking to lunch but as soon as she hit the corner you know what i'm saying i was there waiting on her for to get in, her to get in the car and us to go to lunch we would do this all the time so again either she was driving or i was driving so when she was driving i would go walk and meet her we had an hour lunch, hour, hour and a half, something like that. So we got our hour lunch and be able to act like we was mother and daughter. Um, I will say this. We also were cautious while we were at lunch, too, because obviously people who work there at the company, you know, they would be at the local restaurants and stuff like that, too. So we just had to be cautious all the time. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, my mom would get invited places and I couldn't go or... <laughs> I had to like hang out and wait for her to get done with stuff and vice versa. So we just had this whole thing of just like trying to maintain this story. You know what I'm saying? And I'll tell you, y'all, I don't know that I ever really had a job where I did my job eight hours. I don't really know that I have. And I was always working on something else. So at the time I was on break from school. And I, I took a semester off so I could pursue music full time. So I was working full time and doing music full time at this particular, you know, stage in my life, right? So what I would do is I would go hard for like the first five, six hours and then write rhymes or write stories for the last two hours. That's what I would do. But my work for the day was always done. So it's so funny because my mom, you know, when she would run across me or see me in a conference room and she saw me with paper and stuff like that. Because, I mean, of course, it always looked like I was doing work. But she always knew because she knows me. She always knew. She was like, Rhonda, what you doing? You writing a rap? What you doing? You know, whispering or doing whatever, trying to get my attention. Like, it was just so funny, y'all. Like, I don't know. Like, I would never do that again. And I remember how much it hurt my mom's feelings. Like, she hated that she couldn't be around me. She hated that, like, we had to kind of do this song and dance and pretend. And I'm going to say we worked together for about six months. So, eventually, it was time for me to go back to school. And I think I was just, I think my assignment was just over. So I eventually left the company or whatever. And mom continued on. Mom actually ended up working for this company for like 15 years. So, you know, everything worked out for her. And it's just that one time we worked together, like, it was just so interesting. Like, just seeing your mom walking down the hall and thinking like, where am I going to go? What am I going to do to get out the way? 
so we don't have to cross paths. You know what I'm saying? And then one time, let me add this real quick. I remember one time somebody asked my mom, like, oh, so you got a daughter? What's your daughter's name? You know, of course, she's like, oh, uh, you know, she stumbles a little bit. I remember her telling me the story. And uh, she was like, oh, my daughter's name is Jasmine, which is my cousin. You know what I'm saying? She had to say a name real quick. But anyway, y'all, like I said, we commuted together. We had the same last name. We look alike. And we made it through six months of not violating this company policy by pretending that we didn't know each other. Don't do that, y'all. No, I'm just playing. Do whatever you got to do. <laughs> it's not easy, though. I'll tell you that. Anyway, y'all. I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here because I do have some orders to fulfill, which I'm super excited about. Thank you guys again. Today is the official day. It's the first. It's the launch. So if you want some good as can be, low sodium seasoning, jalapeno garlic pepper, or if you want Cajun lemon pepper, go ahead and tap that link below. And also be sure to follow my Instagram page. I have a good as can be Instagram page that I'll include as well. Um, my goal is to drop cooking videos there two days a week. So like just quick clips. All right. So I'm also going to drop the cooking video on how I made this. This is very simple. It's just a it's a plant-based meal, very simple, some marinated mushrooms and some um, cabbage. If you want to see how I use the jalapeno garlic pepper, go ahead and check that out, all right? Y'all, I'm also going to go ahead and get up out of here, but before I do, tomorrow is family night. We are having karaoke night. It is karaoke tomorrow on Zoom. Please go ahead and check out the community tab. I have a post there. If you want to sign up and you want to sing, go ahead and drop your song in the comments, and I have a running list of everybody in order, okay? And even if you don't want to sing, come hang out, come chill, come do whatever it is that you want to do. Come pick your feet up and just hang out for the night, all right? So 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. So the same time as family night, but we're going to be on Zoom. And the, and the Zoom link will also be in the comments on the community tab, all right? So I appreciate y'all. I want you to do one thing. Be good to yourself. Peace. Let's go ahead and get started with the marinade for our portobello mushrooms. I added in some Worcestershire sauce. I also used some soy sauce. And then I tossed in some minced garlic. And I chopped up some fresh fennel. Now, what's not pictured here is honey. I did add in a sweet element so that it could balance out all of the flavor. Now, let this marinade in the refrigerator for about 30 to 40 minutes. I was a little pressed for time, but the longer, the better. I would say hour and a half, two hours. And this still turned out great. So I added the portobello mushrooms to a skillet with some olive oil over medium heat. And I let it cook down nicely on both sides till it flattened out. It got nice and golden brown, which is what I was looking for. Now let's go ahead and move on to the cabbage. So this is olive oil, medium heat. I added in some red bell pepper, onions. I haven't seasoned anything at this point. All I want is for these vegetables to get translucent. And once they do, I went ahead and added in a head of cabbage and I seasoned it with some all-purpose seasoning by Spiced Up by Dominique. And you're gonna see me use the good as can be jalapeno garlic pepper. And as you can see, I'm being very generous because it is a low sodium seasoning, but I love the combination of the flavors, the heat, and they just pair well together. So this is what our cabbage looks like. It's all done. It is about that time to go ahead and plate. I love how seasoned it looks. I love how translucent our vegetables look all together. So I'm going to go ahead and combine this with the mushrooms and voila, this is the finished product. You can see how meaty the mushrooms look. They're very filling. If you are someone who doesn't eat meat or want to break from meat, as you can see, I added some sesame seed to the top of the mushroom to make it pop even more. This is a very filling and satisfying and healthy meal that can be enjoyed any time of the day. So order your good as can be seasoning. Go ahead and tap the link below in the description. And thank you so much for your support. I be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you 